In this video, I want to talk about restoring a PostgreSQL database. Um, I had some issues, so I just kind of wanted to walk through this. I mean, even if it only helps one person out there. So, <clears throat> first, um, uh, we have a VM that, ha that has, uh, I went ahead and installed uh, PG Admin on it um, so that we can connect to the database, write the queries, yada, yada, yada. Um, and um, so, like the new, so the new database that I created was um, is a test database. So, um, so I came in here. You know, my first instinct was to restore it because um, uh, the client sent a uh, a dump of the database. So I thought I could just restore it right here, um, um, and it was in a, a tar format. So um, I just went and uh, uh, picked. The uh, the tar database and uh, um, choose the user and uh, hit restore and you can see here the the job's created and it looks like it's gonna restore it but it failed um, and so uh, when you click for details. Uh, Um, you know, basically gives you this this error message um, that it, it won't restore it. So, um, what I had to do is um, go into um, PostgreSQL into the uh, PSQL, the SQL shell, um, and then from there I could uh, reference the database and um, import the um, the, the SQL dump. So uh, just kind of want to walk through this real fast. Uh, it's on the local host, which is the, the the VM this is installed in. So we'll just go ahead and take the default there. Um, the database, here's the name of the database. The database is actually test. The port is going to be that will take the default for the port. The username is PostGrid. And the password Put it, type in our password. Okay, so this gives me the prompt for the the test database. Um, so now I basically want to um, import that SQL dump file. So, so I'm going to type in test, which is the database. And then um, we're going to import it. Um, and then we just reference the file name. Right. Right. So now it's just going through and uh, um, <clears throat> creating the database. I had some errors here. Um, not to worry. Um, I just those. That's just because of the table already existed um, uh, that I created the previous. Um, just to kind of set this thing up. So you can go here now, and I can see uh, under. Under the tables now I have a bunch of um, tables now in my database that I just restored hope this helps out thank you